Hi all. What happened? Some of you look very worried while the others look so distressed and stressed with this subject of mathematics. See, I know there are hurdles, I know there are obstacles, but hurdles and obstacles are actually welcome test to test your patience. And you know, every problem has a solution. You don't believe me? Well, I'll tell you a scenario. So day before yesterday, I and my friend thought of going out for a shopping and we had to lock the door, the main door of the house. So what did I do? I picked the lock very hurriedly because I was supposed to just go out and have fun with my friend. And when I was trying to lock it, it didn't happen. My friend said that, you know, this lock might be malfunctioned. But that was the lock which we used to use always in our house. And later I realized I am not using the correct key for that lock. So that means there is a problem. So a problem would have a solution as well. Every problem has a solution. Every lock has a key. But at times we find it so huge a problem because we don't know the exact key for it. So here today, what am I here for? I am here to tell you the solutions to all your mathematical problems. So the very first problem that you all face is understanding the basic concept. You all try to sit to study, but then it's all long gone story because the basic concept itself becomes very difficult for you to comprehend and digest. So what to do in that case? Take the help of the solved examples, which are there in your textbook. And then later, go to the exercise questions and then to the mock tests. Do not at all skip the theory that's there in the book. Apart from this basic problem, there is one more very small problem and that's a silly problem. Yes, you got it right. It's a silly mistake that you all commit usually in your exams. And how to avoid it? The way to avoid it is very simple. Simply first solve the problem step by step and once you are done, once you are done, go through the same solution once again to pick any mistake that you might have done. As simple as that, you can be your own teacher, you can be your own exam copy checker. You can see the solution on your own and probably if you might have missed a formula to be written or a unit to have been written, you can mention it right away. Another pain of many students, it was probably my pain also while I was as young as you, was to not be able to remember the formulas and theorems. And the major mistake that I did, which I do not want you to do at all, is cramming the formulas and cramming the derivations of the theorems. Rather, you should understand how the formula has come up step by step again, so that if you cannot recollect a particular formula in the exam, probably uh, deriving it in the rough sketch somewhere, or probably just making a diagram and then recollecting the information can give you the quick results of a formula. And last but not the least, you all know that this is the paper. You all sit to solve and when you see the time, the time runs, 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 runs and you are still left with so many questions. What to do in that case? That's the problem of the time management. So, before attempting the actual paper, you should have tried attempting the mock papers or attempt as many tests as possible. So the funda is practice, practice and practice. And I know you have been hearing this so many times that now you've become bored of the statement. But actually, that's the truth and the hard reality. Okay, so I believe all of these might have helped you a lot and later when you start applying them in your life, no difficulty will actually be a difficulty because now you know from me that every problem has a solution.